President William Seven says some criminals on the death row at Rosita Maximum Prison must be hanged to send a lesson to criminals outside the prison gates. The president's comments came as he presided over the pass out of prison officers. According to Museveni, he has been so soft on criminals. Because we must hang some of these people. They, they are, if you see the way they, they kill people, they, they are really, they need a, a lesson. We have been too soft. I think they, they, they have misunderstood it. Museveni last signed a death warrant for the execution of death row prisoners at Rizida Prison in 1999 and military courts in 2005. 27 people in Rizida Prison, including Musa Sebirumbi, a Uganda People's Congress stalwart who was found guilty of killing Edinard Lutamaguzi, who hid fighters of the National Resistance Army, were hanged then. Currently, there are 160 inmates, including six women, at Rizida Prison who are on the death row. Being too lenient is also becoming a problem. But well, the criminals, are, I think that they, they have a right to kill people and then just keep their own heads. So I think I'm going to, to revise a bit <laughs> and hang a few. However, some human rights defenders who have for years campaigned for the abolition of death penalty in the country have criticized the president's comments. Our considered opinion is that by executing these people, the crime rate will not actually go down because it has already been proven scientifically that the death penalty is not a deterrent crime. The answer lies in strengthening the institutions that are charged with maintaining law and order. In 2009, the Supreme Court in a landmark case, while upholding the death sentence, ruled that the death sentence is not mandatory and that the sentence of the death row convict is automatically turned into life imprisonment if they are not executed within three years. A total of 919 prison officers who completed nine months of training were passed out during the exercise. The Commissioner General of Prisons, Johnson Biabishaija, asked for more resources to be allocated to the prison services to enable them to invest in industry and agriculture. I want to build the production infrastructure systems of the maize grain production, of the maize seed production, and of the cotton. We are still negotiating with the Ministry of Finance for some credit financing. I'm surprised to hear that the issue of equipment to support you to do the furniture is not yet solved. If my staff can remind me, I will make sure that in the next budget, we sort of that issue. Moseven also commissioned low-cost housing units built by the prison services. You army people, you prison people, forget about using tenders. Do the work yourselves. Because in that case, we only look for money to buy the materials. Why did they recruit? Habat Ziwa, NTV.